Well, folks, it's that time. It's that time again. Lemonade. Super Saiyan. Let's go. Yo, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing YouTube video. I am feeling amazing. It is like 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And remember, if you do like this sort of content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps me help you help everyone. So let's get to it. Today we're going to be looking at the Super Saiyan flavor from G Fuel. Uh, we already know pretty much about this Super Saiyan, legendary Super Saiyan. Uh, interesting backstory. This actually happened during the Frieza arc on like the third or I think it was like the third season. Uh, the episode was actually called A Legendary Super Saiyan uh, Emerges, I think, or A Legendary Super Saiyan Appears. Um, yeah, and Goku was the first Legendary Super Saiyan, and this is a show from Akira Toriyama, which actually he just passed away March 1st, 2024, RIP, to the man that brought us one of the best animes and possibly just set the course for future animes whenever he made Dragon Ball back in the day. So, RIP to him. So, let's get into this one. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. You got Namek on the background. You can see there's Namek on the background. Goku's just powering up, going Super Saiyan. So, let's pop this bad boy open. All right, the lid is cut open. Now we have to open the seal. This is one of... I want to say like eight different pieces to the Dragon Ball Z G Fuel uh, releases. I will eventually have them all. I'm only missing one piece to the puzzle. Uh, I got another one in the mail right now. So I'll eventually have them all and I will take a nice good looking picture. I am actually pretty amazed that G Fuel made so many Dragon Ball Z uh, collabs. Like that's pretty neat. That's pretty interesting. So all right. It looks like the uh, powder is extremely fluffy. This is actually one thing that I mentioned on Twitter last night, or X, um, was somebody opened up a fresh tub and there was comments that said, hey, it looks like they you know, gypped you of some servings, uh, this, that, and a third. And it's actually one of those that you have to take into consideration that some powders are more dense than others which causes them to settle farther down in the tub and not be as fluffy. So some tubs that you get, depending on the flavor, it will actually look like there is less G Fuel in it because it's just not as dense. Uh, most of the sour flavors are not fluffy at all. Most sour flavors are really dense and they're really heavy. So just take that into consideration. I've definitely purchased a lot of G Fuel flavors in the past. And uh, I have done my fair share of experiments. And uh, yeah, I'm here to tell you that some powders are just simply dense, more dense than others. That's why some will look like you got 35 servings or 30 servings compared to 40. So, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, get this shaker. <laughs> so, winter white shaker. I really enjoy this shaker. Everybody here on this channel knows how much I enjoy my clear shakers. I am definitely a sucker for clear shakers. And always remember, drink responsibly. One serving of G Fuel is right here, not up to the very tip top. And it goes 12 to 16 ounces of water. The tip, 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 tippity top is for either funneling into water bottles and such. Or I use it for tall cups like tall boys so let's go ahead and give this a mix up and uh we will be back it's shooken up and it actually looks really really dark it looks a lot different than what i was expecting i'm not even going to bs right there like that's a lot different than what i was expecting i know i was expecting some sort of yellow but I think I was definitely expecting some sort of darker yellow or brighter yellow, not darker. This is like a pineapple yellow, whereas I was expecting a lemonade yellow. Uh, 
So, I don't know. That's very interesting. So, and I'm actually very interested to see how this tastes. I don't think I've ever had a lemonade G Fuel other than sour demonade. So, uh, and then there's lightning lemonade hydration that I've had. And then there's lemonade and like shiny splash that I've had, but I don't think I've ever actually truly had a lemonade G Fuel. So let's see here. Give it a smell. Definitely has a solid lemonade smell. No doubt about that. All right, everybody. Moment of truth. Cheers. Wow. Okay. Okay. So it's got like a mixture in between like a minute made lemonade and like a freshly squeezed lemonade. It almost doesn't taste like either while still captivating the lemonade taste. I'm leaning more towards a freshly squeezed lemonade though. A freshly squeezed lemon. That's actually really delicious. I like that better than the uh, lightning lemonade hydration. I feel like the lightning lemonade hydration was uh, more along the lines of like a lemon head candy flavor, but it was kind of light. Whereas this might be a lemon head candy flavor that is heavy on that flavor. You know what I mean? So you got a freshly squeezed lemon, you've got Minute Maid lemonade, both two different types of lemon you know you're not going to tell me different i've tasted both i like both that's why i drink both and then there's lemon heads which has like a candy lemon head or, you know lemonade taste and i'm almost under the impression this is leaning more towards the candy lemonade taste so All right, so yeah, it's in the middle of the candy, lemon head taste. Take out the sour of it. We're not including any sour in this. This is straight, I don't, lemon, lemons are kind of sour. It's kind of crazy how they'd make a flavor not sour from something that's sour. You know what I mean? So, but it's not sour. It has a very good lemonade taste in it, a very good lemon taste in it. Solid 8 out of 10 on this. For what it's supposed to be, I think it's a good 10 out of 10 on top of that. Um, I like it better than the Lightning Lemonade. I'm probably going to end up mixing Sour Demonade with it just to kind of amplify it a little bit and see what we get. I don't know. But super solid flavor. Super sand flavor. And uh, yeah, until next time, everybody. This has been your boy, King Mo. This has been your cup of Super Sand from Dragon Ball Z. Man, I'm going to really, really miss everything Akira Toriyama did. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, uh, Ground Sparking Zero. It's like Budokai Tenkachi 4 or something's coming out soon, and I'm super excited about that, too. Let me know, are you a Dragon Ball Z fan? What brought you here? Till next time, everybody. Much love. Take care. Stay hydrated. Peace.